Hi, good evening. So, next example is on cone. Find the equation of cone with vertex at origin, which passes through the curve. Equation of curve is this, and another substitute curve is this. We must find the equation of the cone. So, how to find? So, first write down both the quadratic equations. Means, choose any one equation. So I can choose first equation. First equation to make it homogeneous. So, x square is there. No permission of one. Y square, z square is there. No permission of one. But constant is purely constant is one. So I can make it homogeneous. So one can be executed. One into one square. So one square. Now this equation is a homogeneous equation. So we must find one value. So what is one value? Error is there. Another equation put it there. Error is there. If two z is there, nine one put it. Dividing two z one put it. Dividing 2z on both sides, so x square divided by 2z alpha square plus y square divided by 2z beta square, so that equal to 1 is that. E1 value on the either equation on the body means equation e and the quadrilateral. So x square by a square plus y square by b square plus z square by c square, so that equal to x square by 2z alpha square plus y square divided by 2z beta square whole square, isn't it? So that equal to simplify this. So we get the equation of the cone. 2z come on the quarry. So key value it is 1 divided by 4z square by the so cross multiply matrix simplify matrix. That is the equation of the cone, right? So it will be complete. So next example show that. Show that general equation of cone of second degree passing through the axis f of y z plus g of z x plus h of x y is equal to zero. Second equation. I want to prove to prove f of y z plus g of z x plus h of x y so that equal to zero. So this is the equation, right? So I want to prove this. To prove this, we know the second degree equation of the cone is a x square plus b y square plus c z square plus f g h f o x x is not passing into the g y x is not passing into the z x is so. So x x is not passing into the y z is not passing into the z x is not passing into the z x is not passing. So x to z x is not passing into the x y axis. Means f to the x axis is not passing into the x angle. G y axis is not passing into the y angle. H to z x is not passing into the z angle. Right? So passes through the axis angle. Means x axis, y axis, and z axis. Right? So two times of f of y z plus two times of h of g of z x plus two times of h of x y. So that equal to zero, right? So now I want to prove this result, right? This second degree equation of the cone passing through the axis or the axis. So means if this cone, this is the equation of second degree equation of the cone. This cone passing through the x-axis. So that coordinate point is one comma zero comma zero. Remember this point. So x-axis में यह पास में कोई नहीं रहे. So it's passing through the all the axes and here को ना हो. So that's why. So it if it pass this cone passing through the x-axis, so that cone and point is one comma zero comma zero, right? So it is x-axis, y-axis, and it is z-axis. You know point for the end one comma zero comma zero. You know y-axis and point for the end zero comma one comma zero. So go to the end z-axis. So it is zero comma zero comma one, right? So x. x is equal to 1 ayitu y is equal to 0 b z is equal to 0 to simplify panadu ena antidu a is equal to 0 anu then similarly the second degree equation of the cone passing through the y axis so that coordinate point is 0, 0 so x is equal to 0 y is equal to 1 so b z is equal to 0 of 0 anu b is equal to 0 Similarly, the second degree equation of the cone passing through the z-axis, so that coordinate point is zero comma zero comma one. 
so x equal to zero, y is equal to zero, z is equal to one. So zero zero z equal to one means equal to c plus zero two z equal to zero. Put a b c value. A equal to zero, b is equal to zero, c is equal to zero. The constant substitute this value in this equation. What you get? A is equal to zero, b is equal to zero, c is equal to zero. Only one. Two of f of y z plus two of g of z x. Plus two of h of x one that equal to zero. Dividing two on both sides, you get is it proof? And see proof, right? Thank you. So last question. Last question. Do that equation of the cone with vertex at origin is homogeneous, right? So I want to prove this. So again, we know the formula for so second degree equation of the code is a x square plus b y square plus c z square plus two times of f of y z plus two times of f g of z x plus two times of h of x one plus two times of u x. Plus two times of u i plus two times of w z plus d, so equal to zero. This is the equation of second degree equation of the core means quadratic equation of the core. So of this equation one. Even result to move back and then the general equation of quadratic equation to go back now. Quadratic equation to go. Quadratic equation to go then right. So using this equation, I want to prove it is this right. So so with vertex and origin and then now prove that. Form with vertex and origin. So it is vertex. This is the vertex. So this is zero comma zero comma zero, right? So this is the surface of the cone. So this surface will be the point pass mark for the point to P of x one or y one or z one. Is that it? But so if this line meets the curve, so there is a formation of point. So that point is question mark. Is it correct or not? Q point can be calculated, right? The core may have one the point pass mark within. That point is x1, y1, z1. So vertex is already origin. So third point is what? By using two point formula. So it is x1, y1, z1. This is x2, y2, z2. Is it? By using two point formula, I want to prove this result. Sorry, this result, right? So X minus x1 divided by x2 minus of x1, so that equal to y minus y1 divided by z2 minus of z. Sorry, y2 minus of y1, so that equal to z2 minus of z1 divided by z2 minus of z1, so that equal to r. Right? Clear? Then, so two point formula. So x minus of zero divided by x1 minus of zero, y minus of zero divided by y1 minus of zero. So y2 means x1. So x2 means x1. Y y2 means y1. Z2 means z1. So replace on this z minus of zero divided by z1 minus of zero that equal to r. So therefore x is equal to r x1. Y is equal to r y1. Z is equal to r z1. Right? So these are the coordinate point of x y z. Put. X Y Z value in this equation, what happens? So means these are the coordinate point Q, Q of R X one, R Y one, R Z one, right? So putting these values in this equation, so what we get? A of A of R square, so A of R square X one square plus B of R square Y one square plus C of R square Z one square plus two times of f of R square Y one Z one plus two times of R square G of Z one X one plus two times of H R square X one Y one plus two times of U of R X one plus two times of P of R Y one plus two times of W R Z one plus D is equal to zero. So.
so club r square club r then club constant we get so we get r square is taking common a x1 square plus b y1 square plus c z1 square right so plus two times of f of y1 z1 plus two times of h of x1 y1 plus two times of g of z1 x1 so keep as it is plus 2r is taking common only r so u x1 plus p y1 plus w z1 plus d is equal to 0 right so that equal to 0 can be written as equal to 0 into r 0 into r square not over plus 0 into r not over 0 into some constant not over right you are Equating each coordinate means R square coefficient to R coefficient to constant coefficient we get AX1 square plus BY1 square plus CZ1 square plus 2 times of F of Y1 Z1 plus 2 times of H of X1 Y1 plus 2 times of G of Z1 X1 that equal to 0 right so UX1 plus EY1 plus WZ1 so that equal to 0 and d is equal to 0 so these are all of this right after simplify replace x1 by x y1 by y z1 by z right replace all this in this equation we get so so and so so is it proof but if you want to integral the value of this, you can see the surface of the point x, y, z. That is the equation. So, if you want to improve it, you can improve it. And see proof. Right? Thank you.